Pill bugs, or roly-polies if that's what you called them growing up, are common garden pests found all over the world. Many kids grew up poking these small creatures, making them curl up into a ball, and rolling them around. Unbeknownst to many homeowners, pill bugs can potentially prevent new gardens or turf from growing, or more commonly known, they'll invade homes and litter the floors. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and treat pill bugs on your property so you can enjoy your garden and home in peace. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping with Solutions Pest and Lawn. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pill bugs, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. In contrast to their name, pill bugs aren't insects or arachnids or any kind of bug pest. They're actually crustaceans that have adapted to live on land. They're more closely related to lobsters and shrimp, and they even have gills. Pill bugs will grow to be about one quarter to three quarters of an inch in body length. Pill bugs have seven pairs of legs, a pair of antennae, and they're usually bluish gray to black in color. Their bodies are ovular shaped, and they can curl up into a round ball when disturbed. Other names for pill bugs include wood lice, wood shrimp, and doodle bugs. Pill bugs are often mistaken for another land crustacean, the sow bug. The two may look similar, but it's important to tell them apart for pest control since certain products may be labeled for one pest and not the other. Sow bugs are similar in size and shape to pill bugs. However, sow bugs are more brown in color, their bodies are flatter, and so they're unable to curl up into a ball. Additionally, sow bugs have two tail-like appendages on their rear. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Pill bugs thrive in damp, dark areas that provide enough dead plants or moisture. A pill bug's diet mostly consists of decaying plant matter, or if there's none around, they'll eat newly sprouted grass or plant seedlings. These habitats are found underneath fallen leaves, rocks, logs, moist soil in fields, grassy areas, gardens, plant beds, potted plants, and ornamental landscaping. Pill bugs often burrow themselves into the soil or mulch around plants receiving consistent moisture. With a trowel or a gloved hand, you can brush away a small layer of soil to reveal pill bugs that may have curled into a ball. You can also look underneath wooden boards, logs, rocks, wood piles, and other debris where there may be moisture underneath. Indoors, pill bugs are attracted to damp areas like the basement or in a room that isn't air conditioned. You're likely to only come across a few dead pill bugs indoors since these rooms don't provide enough moisture or food for pill bugs to survive for more than three days. Heavy infestations indoors are improbable but can still happen. Keep in mind that the presence of pill bugs inside your structure may indicate some form of mold or water leakage, so be on the lookout for what may be causing an increase in moisture. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To eliminate pill bugs from your property, you'll need to spread a granular insecticide over your lawn, followed up with a liquid broadcast treatment. First, calculate your lawn square footage to determine how much product you need to use. You can do this by measuring the area's length and width, then multiply them together. For your granular application, we recommend you use Bifen LP insecticide granules. Bifen LP is a ready-to-use insecticide made with bifenthrin that controls many types of pests, including pill bugs. In turf, you'll apply this product with a push spreader at the labeled rate of 4.6 pounds per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. You can also use a hand spreader for smaller applications. Load your spreader with the proper amount of Bifen LP and evenly distribute all of it throughout your treatment area. With a push spreader, broadcast half your granules in parallel lines once across your area, then broadcast the other half at a perpendicular angle to cover the area in its entirety. Once you've finished your Bifen LP application, it will need to be watered in to be activated and pushed into the soil. You can do this with your liquid broadcast treatment. For your liquid application, we recommend you use a liquid insecticide concentrate with 7.9% bifenthrin. You'll apply this product at a rate of 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. We recommend you use a 20-gallon hose end sprayer since you'll be making a large volume broadcast application. To use the 20-gallon hose end sprayer, remove the reservoir from the nozzle. Make sure the sprayer's control valve and your water pump are off, then attach the nozzle to the hose. 
Add the proper amount of your insecticide product, then fill the reservoir with enough water to treat the entire lawn. To make sure you thoroughly coat the area and push the product into the soil, use at least 2 gallons of water per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Double check to make sure your control valve and water pump are still off. Then reattach the reservoir to the nozzle. Once you've ensured a tight connection, you can now turn the water on. To spray, push forward on the control valve. To stop, simply pull the valve back into the off position. To control pill bugs in your lawn, evenly distribute the entire amount of product over your treatment area. As you make your application, keep an eye on the amount of product you have left in the sprayer's reservoir. When the liquid in the reservoir runs out, no product will be applied. When applied properly, the bifenthrin from this application and the bifen granules will absorb into the soil and the grass's roots. Pill bugs that eat these roots or burrow into the soil will begin to die within 24 hours. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Since pill bugs require some degree of moisture to live, there are several things you can do to make your property less inviting for pill bug activity. Start by removing pill bug harborages by raking away fallen leaves and picking up other debris on the ground. These areas tend to hold moisture underneath, making them ideal for pill bugs to live under. Next, you may need to start mowing your grass shorter, trimming overgrown shrubbery, and trimming back overgrown tree branches. This will reduce shade on your lawn, encouraging more water evaporation. Pill bugs eat decaying roots and other plant matter, so if you see any dead leaves or branches on any of your plants, prune them away as those are valuable food sources for pill bugs. Indoors, you can repair any leaky pipes or faulty air conditioning to reduce the moisture content of your home. To stop pill bugs from invading your home, you'll need to seal and close any potential entry points you may have found. Tight cracks and crevices may be filled with caulk, while larger voids may need to be stuffed with copper mesh. You may also need to repair any torn screens or affix brush or rubber seals onto doors and windows. Finally, you'll need to follow up on your granular and liquid insecticide applications with timed retreatments. Bifenthrin-based products like Bifen LP leave a lasting residual that will control pests for up to 90 days. We recommend you make treatments quarterly for year-round control. Pill bugs are tiny pests that can stop the growth of a new garden or just scatter themselves on your home's floor. But there are ways to manage and control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can get rid of pill bugs on your property and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.